Okay, now we're good. Um, yes, we're All good right. to go. And All last, right. yeah. All right. I'm going to call the meeting to order at 11:07 on Friday, May 29th. This is the Economic Development Committee virtual meeting with remote particip participation. Uh, pursuant to Governor Baker's March 12, 2020 order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law, uh, General Law Chapter 30A, Section 18, and the Governor's March 15, 2020 order imposing strict limitation on the number of people that may gather in one place. This meeting of the Economic Development Committee will be conducted by remote participation to the greatest extent possible. Specific information and the general guidelines for remote participation by members of the public and or parties with the right and or requirement to attend this meeting can be found on the Town of South Bro's website at https um, double backslash www.southborotown.com uh, backslash for this meeting. Members of the public who wish to watch or participate in the meeting may do so in the following manner by finding the meeting at www.southborotown.com remote uh, backslash remote meetings. No in-person attendance of members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure that, a pub that the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time by a technological means. In the event that we are unable to do so, despite our best efforts, we will post on South Bro's website an audio or video recording, transcript, or other comprehensive record of proceedings as soon as possible after the meeting. So I'm going to call the meeting to order, like I said, at 11.07. I'm going to do a uh, roll call, make sure everybody's here. Um, Chris Robbins. Here. Julie Conley. Here. Michael Moorhead. Here. Kathleen Bartolini. Here. And John Wood. Here. So we have a quorum. Uh, first on the agenda is approval of minutes from April 15, 2020. Do I have a motion to approve the minutes or has everybody seen them? Any corrections? I so move. I'll make a motion to, to approve them as submitted. Do I have a second? Kathy. Do I have a second? I second. Chris, Chris Robbins. Robbins. Chris Robbins. All right, uh, passes unanimously. And Kathy, you said you want to say something after the minutes. Yes. Um, I regret to be doing this, but I'm not announcing my resignation from the EDC. Um, I have not sent, I have not sent a letter yet to Mark and the board of selectmen. I wanted to tell you guys first, but 50 years of active public service between state, federal, regional, and local has burnt me out and um, I'm available to work on a project here and there with you guys, but um, I'm resigning from everything. Um, that also means that because I am your rep on the master planning committee and only a member of the EDC can fill that slot, you can't just name somebody else to represent you, that someone on the EDC is going to have to be moved up because that's going to become um, much more active as well. Uh, when, my, when it, uh, when I hate to see, uh, I hate to see you go, uh, I wish you'd stay. Uh, you've been uh, a great contributor and you're going to be missed, but I understand. Um, when's the next master plan committee meeting? This Wednesday night. Wednesday. When so are, I'll you make my, uh, are you resigning about, as of I'll today? Make... Um, I was going to resign as of Monday, June 1st. And when's, can you make it Wednesday? I had a very hard time. The last time I tried to even Zoom with them, I couldn't. Um, I spent two days attempting to have it happen. I was on the phone with them while they were at the meeting. They wanted me in because I had done two working groups that I had successfully Zoomed in with. Um, and hey. that working group stuff was to be discussed. So, um, I'd rather not have to go through that again on next Wednesday. Okay, that's fine. I'll, I'll figure hey, it out. By the hey, end. John and Kathy, this is Julie. Just, I don't want to interrupt, but um, yep. Kathy, we're really sorry to see you go. Absolutely. We know we're already down a couple of people and things are, you know, obviously working in this climate has, has been difficult. 
everybody. Um, and, and you've certainly paid your dues as far as your public service to this group and to, to the state and the town. But um, I, I'm happy to, I'm not sure I wanna commit right now to being the master plan rep, but I'm happy to at least way if that's, you know, just as, a, as at least a band-aid and then John, we can talk further about, you know, what a more permanent solution might look like. Thank you, Julie, appreciate that. Yeah, I just wanted to say Kathy's contribution to this community has been enormous. She was on the start of our economic development activities. We designed ourselves as the economic development team and she was instrumental in, in helping us do the EDSAT, which is the survey on economic development from Northeastern. Kathy, you, you're just, and you have a elephant memory. So when we have meetings with the planning board and everybody else, you're, you're in a place to let people know what really happened in, in many of those meetings. We cannot thank you enough for all that you have done for this town and for this committee. Well, thank you. I just, I'm not going away entirely. I mean, if people want to call up and say, do you remember? But I have to admit that my mind's starting to go a little bit. That memory's not as good as it used to be. But um, yeah, no, I, I've, I've enjoyed doing it. And it's, it's a contentious period with public sector involvement with private sector public sector involvements and i just decided now was the time to say goodbye <laughs> thank you well i owe you a beer or a glass of wine when this is all over kathy how's that sound <laughs> okay. uh, all right we can, we can go out or we can have it in your driveway six feet apart from each other i'll be fine with that too but again thank you for everything you've done over the years for this town and for the state and for everything thank you Huh. So now we're down three people. If anybody knows anybody that might be interested in getting I, on the EDC. I do want to say, I realized I put you in a bad place for the three down. But every time I was going to re announce my resignation, someone beat me to it. Like <sighs> Tom opened the meeting without, you know, without actually opening the meeting and announcing it when he did it. So that's why I asked to be right after the minutes. Oh, just because you saw the term renewals from myself and Julie yes, in there exactly. and wanted to get off. Of, gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> All right. So getting to that now, uh, term renewals. Um, I did sign back up. Um, Julie, I don't know if you have yet or if you're going to, but I hope you do. Um, have you had any thoughts on that, Julie? Are you staying? Yeah, I, I did sign up. Oh, excellent. I'm done. Excellent. I submitted it. Yep. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Julie. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. So if, like, if anybody knows anybody that may want to be on the committee or if we've had any inquiries to the town, do you know, Marika, has anybody sent anything to the town? Um, I'm not sure. I'm actually to... following up with, uh, I followed up with Matt Berger. I haven't heard back from him because he uh, showed interest. We even uh, looked at his resume before, just before this pandemic hit. Yeah. Um, so I've reached out to him to see if he's still interested to join the EDC. I believe he had already applied online. So I also um, asked uh, Vanessa to see if, if she received anything. So I'll, I'll follow up on that. Uh, otherwise, uh, nothing that I know of. Okay. So I'll ask about that. Um, I know Julie's got a hard stop shortly. And without her, we don't have a quorum to do anything else. So real quick, I'm just going to run through everything on this. So uh, Vice Chair Port, uh, last week, uh, at our last meeting, I said I talked to Pam at the Senior Center about finding a senior workout person. Um, right now, it's difficult with the Senior Center closed, but she has a few people that she may be able to uh, talk to about uh, doing it for us, and she's going to get back to me. Um, I went to the advisory meeting last week. I did not attend last night's, but I know Claire was there, um, and I believe we're all set. They said uh, they were happy that we came down below the recommended. And I'm pretty sure they didn't take a formal vote, but I'm pretty sure we're all set on our budget uh, with the 7% uh, increase. Uh, moving forward, I'll follow up on that shortly. I also got an email from John Butler yesterday asking um, about a trash study for the uh, Capital Committee. I forwarded that off to Julie and Marika just to see if they had any thoughts on how we could find out some information. I'll forward that off to everybody after this meeting. Um, he's just, I, I can't look at it right now because I can't see my screen because I'm technologically ruined over here today. But um, basically he's looking to find out about uh, how out-of-towners or private, um, 
the nonprofits and businesses are doing for trash hauling, how much trash they're doing and roughly what it's costing. He's working on something with the DPW as well. Um, so if we can try to figure that out later on. Um, I think that is all I have. Oh, on the restructuring of the uh, EDC. Um, I've talked to some selectmen. Uh, I've spoken with Paul Semino to see if he thought that it would be okay for an advisory member to be on this as well. He said, legally, it doesn't seem to be any problem, but um, it might be a um, not a conflict of interest, but because they're the sounding board for the town, it, they may not want to. So I don't know if that'd be able to be a voting member or a uh, ex officio or that. So I, like I said, well, I, once other towns have opened and I can talk to um, the successful economic development committees to see how they're structured moving forward. Um, I'll try to write up something better to send to the selectmen. And I want to do that after down election anyway, because we may, well, we will have a new select person, um, maybe two, but uh, so I want to wait till after election to do that. And that I believe is it for, for me, uh, for my report. Um, any member updates from other committees and boards besides the master plan that is committee that now has a new temporary rep named Julie Connolly for the EDC? Is there anything uh, that you can tell us about that, Kathy? Well, um, I did miss the last meeting, so actually I can't, even though I okay. tried to be there. Um, I do know they worked with MAPC and they had a, I will point this out, they had a much smaller return on the town-wide um, survey that they did about goals and objectives um, and whether, you know, what they people wanted and we showed them what we had and anything they thought was missing. Um, and Kathy, I was kind of surprised. do you know if that survey is still active or have they closed I, it? I actually, no. No, it was, it, it, shut, it was shut down, you know, because they had to have the report into MAPC so that MAPC could go on to the next step on the contract. We'd already asked them for contract extensions. So they, so I, I haven't, I was not there to hear the results, um, but MAPC was at that meeting. But I saw the, the figure and it, it was, what was, Julie, what did we have as a, as a feedback, uh, number of people? Or has she Sorry? left? J Julie, no. if you're there, there did, yep. what did we have for the ULI um, stuff? 427. I, awesome. I think it was like two, 260 or 270 something that I saw for the effort that they, and they did make a strong effort. I mean, they did try, but um, maybe it was the wrong time with uh, the beginning of the pandemic sort of stuff happening. I don't think we were quarantined during that time, but um, people's people were paying attention to other things. But anyways, they That's don't really have- That's interesting. I'm, I'm really sorry to hear that, and all, especially because I mean, I thought our survey responses were strong, but we still take criticism uh, right. only having 427 right. and if they have half that then that's you know I'm that's, not going to say it was exactly really half it might be two thirds you know but yeah. I felt that th there was a sort of a stronger push to try to get people to, to respond to that and a lot of discussion if you will on the blog and it still didn't result um, and we couldn't it, because of the pandemic and there the Council on Aging being closed, even though we offered to pay to put a paper copy into the um, monthly mailing that you get from the from the council, um, they were not doing a mailing because no one was working to produce one. So um, the extra effort that I was pushing to help the elderly participate in that without having to be own a computer or being computer efficient. Um, it, it never materialized. I even volunteered to pay for the extra mailing cost, the added weight, I mean, personally. Um, but anyway, I do think an honest effort was made. And hopefully, this is, remember, the, the draft, and it will come out and get further feedback. But it would have been helpful to make some changes now instead of 
at the end when we're you know trying to finalize it. Do we need to vote on anything uh, before Julie has to leave? We can't have a meeting. We won't have a quorum once Julie leaves. No, I know. We can't, we can't, we can't even have any discussion. So yeah, we need to vote on um, creating a yeah, Facebook page. Yeah, we need to page. vote on, on two things, actually. The Facebook page, uh, because according to the uh, social media handbook, um, I think the committee has to formally vote for it. Uh, and secondly, um, we have to vote for um, the uh, going with a mixed use overlay zoning um, article as opposed to a rewrite oh, yeah. of the uh, of the zone, downtown business village district zoning. So that I think we should have more of a discussion on than the hows and whys. I'm not comfortable voting on that without seeing knowing the differences and with, with a little vetting a little more time in that. Is there a schedule we have to have that done by? Uh, yeah, ASAP, I guess, because we are we have. And why uh, are we doing that? See, I don't understand why we're doing that well, instead of the, the rewrite. Thing is, or, John, or, John, we we've been discussing this for many months. We of the difference of why going to an overlay instead of a of a thing. No, we really haven't. I haven't seen it in the minutes. We, no, we've been discussing it, and I mean, we've been going with an overlay because of certain reasons. So those reasons has haven't changed. We just have to formally, okay. uh, as a committee, decide that we are going with it because we never voted on it. Okay. Right, so but we've been working on it for months. And the reason, I mean, we can do this now uh, or, or, or you can decide to do, do it later, but the reasoning for us uh, to go with an overlay um, was because we could keep the underlying zoning the same, which would, uh, you know, okay. at least it would be a, a lesser of, a lesser, um, less of a big step to do. Uh, we can, um, expand it in the future if necessary, uh, even if it uh, covers other types of zoning underneath. Um, the developer or investment uh, that, that, that wants to be, you know, go into downtown can choose to stick with the underlying zoning, the downtown business village zoning district, or choose to go with the overlay. Um, it will, you know, maybe be, uh, um, give people peace of mind that nothing really changes. I mean, they can still do whatever they've been doing all along. It's just we're adding another, another layer of zoning to increase okay. certain investments, which I think, um, um, you know, even even Claire had, had sent out the information um, in that little table, which, which kind of discusses the pros and cons of uh, rewriting yeah, and, or and overlay. Just to add um, one more thing, and I think that's a really good summary, Marika. This, this sort of was a critical point that we've been talking about kind of for like over a year in, in some way, shape or form. I know it hasn't been the hot topic recently, but um, as we're starting to engage somebody to help us to write zoning, I think this is a really important distinction. Um, and, and it's frankly, if, if I remember correctly, that's what we were advised when, when we had um, Mimi working with us back last year to talk about some of the um, some of the revisions to zoning um, you know I, I believe that's what she wanted as well um, if I remember correctly I hope that's that's right but that's that's my recollection I don't know if someone else recalls as well but but I, I think it's instead of trying because you know the, the problem with rewriting the entire zoning provision is that you know it's you're kind of kind of go back to all the issues we had when we tried to do it with the Zach several years ago, and it you know one thing stumbles onto the next, and you got to make sure all the cross references are correct. This is a specific provision that doesn't negate what's already there; it just adds to it and will add special rights and uses for a particular prescribed area. And so, I think one from a drafting perspective, that's much cleaner. Um, and to, yeah, it, it, it's, it's less of a seismic shift. It's just saying, we're gonna define this area and on top of what's already there, we're gonna allow these specific uses or these specific height restrictions or setback restrictions or whatever it will entail. Um, so I think that makes perfect sense. Um, and unless, unless somebody has concerns about that, I think that is really in line with what we've been talking about for, for a while now. So. Um, if people are ready to vote on it, I certainly don't want to push it if people aren't ready, but I, I think it's something that I, I'd hate to see continue to stall. Um, but of course, if, if people feel like they need more time to discuss it, I'm comfortable it, now. Consider that too. Okay. Okay. I'm comfortable. 
So do I have a motion to right. from anybody? I'll, I'll give the motion. Of? Yeah. <laughs> um, motion to to vote to um, to um, create an overlay district zoning bylaw for submission to the planning board and board of selectmen. I'll second. second. I'll second. All right. All right. Uh, seconded by Mr. Robinson. Any further discussion? Did Mike Moorhead also say? Say second. I, yeah, that's yeah, that I that heard was, two minutes. Oh, yeah, I, I, I would second. I would second. Yep. All right, I'm going to do it as a roll call vote. Um, Chris? Yes. Chris Robbins? Uh, aye. Michael Moorhead? Yes. Julie Connolly? Yes. Kathleen Bartolini? Yes. Claire Reynolds? Oh, Claire, you're no. not on it anymore. Sorry. Uh, John Wood? Aye. This passes unanimously. All right, and the last one you needed, uh, Facebook. You want to yes. do Facebook? Um, basically, we would need to vote um, on creating an EDC Facebook page um, as a means to, uh, I guess, expand our, um, you know, our reach uh, with informing the public of what we're doing. I think it's a great idea. Um, just because I know a lot of people of businesses I've talked to, they don't actually even go to the town website to look at the EDC. Uh, page for information. So I think if they have a website, I mean, a Facebook page, I think that could be very helpful. So good idea, Monica. Anybody else have any, want to make a, a motion to establish? I'll a, make a motion to, yep, I'll do it. Uh, I'll make a motion to establish an EDC Facebook page. Second. Okay. Uh, we have a motion seconded by Ms. Bartolini. Uh, any discussion? All right, another roll call vote. Uh, Mr. Robbins? Yes. Chris Robbins, yes. Michael Moorhead? Yes. Michael Moorhead, aye. Uh, Julie Connolly? Yes. Uh, Kathleen Bartolini? Yes. And John Wood? Yes. Unanimous on five. Um, we're flying through this. Any other thing we need to vote on? No. All right. Uh, so I'd like to get to hear from Claire eventually uh, on the zoning and wastewater, uh, the consultant updating, see where we are with that. Can you do that first? I think that's uh, more important right there at this point. Uh, I agree. Yeah. So if we, can, if we could do that and then go back to the COVID-19 updates uh, on another time, if we need to. Um, I unfortunately have to cut out. I'm so sorry. Um, I got a I got a call put on my calendar that I did not have control over, um, and I can't move. Um, my I'm sorry. That's okay. okay. I'm just hoping. I'm thinking. Um, Suzanne Duca said she might join us at 11:30. So if she would join us, would that uh, give us quorum again? I guess. Would that be okay. Fine? Let me just text her. Thank you, Julie. another minute okay maybe Claire you can start okay um so uh first of all on yeah, the zoning another couple minutes um on the zoning um the draft of uh, the original draft that we had um is now with um Adam Costa the lawyer um uh, Marek and I had uh, two meetings um on air meetings and um he did need to know uh which way you know we were going to go as far as the override or um uh you know creating a new district so um, i'm gonna inter and, I'm interrupt you for one second i see susan duca has joined the meeting at 11 30. so we have one person more than a quorum so that way if julie needs to bounce well, I have to bounce by 12 o'clock. I'm only here oh, for right. so this is We're just trying to get an update. We can't even, that's fine. So. Perfect, because I'm going to cut out. Thank you, guys. Thank Take you, care, Julie. Julie. Thank you. All right. Okay. So we still have a quorum. Please continue, Claire. I'm sorry. I didn't okay. So um, he is going um, to have a, um, his uh, revisions, his comments, his 
everything um, to us by Friday the 5th uh, of June. Um, and then I have all of this stuff in documents that has all been written out. Um, one is the schedule of um, what the dates are because it looks like the fall town meeting is going to be the end of September or the beginning of October. So what we did was we um, back scheduled from there to make sure that during the month of June, all of the boards and committees that have um, uh, some say in this will have a copy of Adam's recommendations for the overlay um, zoning. Then they can schedule, because a lot of these committees now only meet once a month, they can schedule it to do, um, to meet with their groups uh, during the month of June, if necessary, um, very early in July. From there, then um, the planning board gets there, you know, the will be able to, um, it'll go to the selectmen, it'll go um, from there to the planning board, then they go and they schedule a um, public hearing. I talked to Don Morris, he doesn't like to do uh, public hearings in the summer because people are going to be away, who knows if that's going to be the case. But anyway, um, there will be time to get it uh, done for one, possibly two public hearings if necessary. Um, the, with the goal of trying to get as many questions answered before the public hearing. Um, in addition, um, and I think I talked about this last time, um, we have a list of residents and businesses um, that uh, will be invited to participate, any information that they need before the public hearing. Um, so that most of this is vetted out before the town meeting. Um, and I guess on that, what questions do you have? So that's one part. So what I have is I a have document. A Sorry, Claire. I just want a clarification. What we have a list of all the boards, et cetera, that need to either need to have a say in what's being proposed or would want to have a say. And we send it. We send out our work to them and we do we wait for them to schedule us and assume if they don't schedule us, they don't feel the need to discuss it with us? Or are we gonna be more, more proactive and say, we haven't heard back from you, but we don't have your schedule. We sent you our schedule. How do we overlay so that we, we have a chance to discuss this pre-town meeting? Hello? Thinking. Hello? Claire? Can you hear me? Claire? Yeah, we can hear you, Kathleen. We're no. just waiting for Claire's response. I don't know what's happening. Oh. I think Claire's lost the audio. Maybe she's lost the audio. Yeah. I just assumed if something was going wrong, it was me. <sighs> I mean, as it stands yeah, now, just... we... Oh, sorry. Claire? Uh, I just realized that my sound pooped out. Um, so um, it, just quickly to repeat, um, all of the boards and committees have been notified already that this is coming to them. Um, Freddie got back, um, Conservation got back. Um, I think, it tra is it Trails, Marika? Somebody got back to you and said they would participate? Catherine um, McGill? Well, anyway, no, uh, historic, historic commission. The, um, the, we've, we have approached them. The reason is, is because I don't want to hear, um, oh, well, we didn't know any of this was going on. So next Friday, when we get the document from uh, Adam, mm -hmm. and that will get sent out to everybody, they can schedule it at their meeting. And then um, anybody who has, if they want to have myself, John, Marika, or whatever, um, there to answer questions or whatever, um, then that, that's fine. So that'll happen during June at their meetings. Does that answer your question, Kathy? Yeah, I, I, is, but it will, it'll be up to them to call us and say, we're meeting on September 22nd and that's the earliest we can 
discuss this with you? Um, yeah, I mean, unless they want to, well, what we were going to do was put in a, um, a date that we would like to have in consideration with the um, timing of the fall town meeting. Now, understand, okay. um, the fall town meeting can move. But when I put together the schedule, I did it in the worst case. In other words, the earliest well, scenario. Late, late September. Right. Um, okay. And Mark confirmed that. I, I checked with Mark Purple and he kind of confirmed that. But, you know, that that still could move later in the year, which That's is not good. a bad thing. Yeah. Yeah, we can't wait for anybody to call us. We've got to pursue this because without these other committees supporting us 100%, going into town meeting, it's going to be okay. a losing yep. situation. That, that's fine. Um, that'll be done. So there'll be a check, you know, kind of, uh, I, I mean, I'll just follow up with all of them when we scheduled on, you know, your agenda. And I will add that to the table that I've already created with each individual um, board and committee and who the contact person is. And if anybody needs that schedule, I just put together a whole bunch of documents um, with a little, in an email, I'll just forward it out to everybody. Uh, Marika, did you get a chance to look at that? I know I just sent it to you yesterday, but um, my question is, is, is that clear enough the way I put it together? In other words, guys, what I did was I said, here's four documents are attached. This is what the four documents are. One of them is the schedule. The other one is the list of all the boards and committees. It has, um, the uh, copy of the email that Marika sent out, and um, and then I'll just add the follow up to it. Yeah, I think, I think yeah. I, if, if I may, ideally it's going to be important that we have a leading champion on each committee who's going to be supportive and be a strong advocate on the committee, as opposed to. You know, what can, you know, the, the way these things go, people start picking things apart and, and uh, we, we lose momentum if we don't have internal champions uh, helping us to make this work. Okay. Um, Chris, I'll, I'll drop a package of all that stuff off at your house so that you have that. Great. Thanks or for your come, hard hey, work. Hey, when are you going to come by and get the Klondike bars? I'll give it to you then. That's a secret. <laughs> I'll see hey. you in an hour. <laughs> okay. I'll see you in 55 minutes to take his. Yeah. They... <laughs> okay. Any other questions on zoning? Hello? Okay. So then Claire, the can next you share, one. Claire, Claire Guy, can you share Adam's comments with us or share his with the group, his, his review? Uh, yeah, sure. As soon as we get them. Okay. He has, when we talked to him on Tuesday, he had already gone through, he had redlined the document, added um, comments, and he was kind of, he's actually done this before. And of course, that's the reason that, you know, he was a good recommendation um, for other towns. Uh, what we had to make sure that he understood, and Marika, feel free to, you know, jump in. Uh, what we had to make sure that he understood was that we were kind of like really trying to be with some of the stuff that was written in the document. Um, we were trying to be sensitive to feedback that we know we knew that we would get from, uh, you know, other boards, whether it be planning or um, whatever. And so we're confident now that he has a very good flavor for um, how, uh, um, how the politics work here in town. And then the other thing was that he made a very good um, uh, comment about was this whole by right. He said, there's a lot of verbiage in there. And then we, you know, we told him we're not zoning people, but and it was, it was actually taken from something very similar in Grafton. And so that from the um, by right per, uh, standpoint, you know, changing should to shall and may to must or you know whatever that is and he he's going to have that so as soon as we get that you guys will get the copy of it and that should be friday that's friday yeah okay okay any and other after, questions on the zone yeah and after we get his product 
how soon are we going, or not I resign, but how soon will the EDC be meeting as a whole with him to discuss his product and why it, he wrote it that way? Well, it, it, if that's what the EDC wants to do, then um, that's, um, you know, that's just up to scheduling a, a meeting, maybe like the um, second to the third week in June. I'll let others, fit, you know, speak up. Maybe I shouldn't, but I, I would recommend that the EDC have a meeting and so that everyone is as informed as you and Marika are about the product and why that's the product versus five other options. Um, so that as they represent the EDC at these other board meetings or at town meeting or at the, the essential public hearings before, um, the, before the planning board, that everyone looks as informed and supportive of the amendment, be it a overlay yeah, uh, or the amendment. Yeah. Um, well, it's going to be the overlay. And yeah. um, so then it, it's just, you know, if you get the thing Friday and you want to take a week to read it, then you schedule a meeting for the week after that. And if there are specific questions that you have, we'll just schedule it with Adam. What I think what I'm trying to make sure is, is that um, initially from the EDC, and this is the same thing with the other uh, boards and committees, that they have a list of their questions, concerns, or whatever. Um, having a free and open discussion with um, a lawyer at his caliber is going to get very costly. With the EDC, I think it makes all the sense in the world. And I think you guys really need to hear from him because he's done this as far as planning and all of these other people. I think that they should get together. My plan was, and which I had told him, and this is all um, documented in an email that was sent to him, um, because Sam was asking these same, uh, he was, he had a, a couple questions and, um, I discussed the approach with him was that, um, all of the questions are compiled ahead of time. Some of them may be able to be answered internally and some of them, um, have to, uh, go to, uh, the lawyer to answer. I'm being quiet because I'm waiting. I think it's better for the other members to give their opinion on the process than me. Okay. Speak up, guys. Yeah, there's still silence. You, you, yeah. you know the Kathy uh, will just jump right in. <laughs> I'm okay with it. I, I think we I, see what he says. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm not going to set up a process until I see the document and then figure it out. You know, we exactly. sent it off to everybody, all the committee heads and yep. you know, the, all the boards. So once we get it to them and get it back, you know, I think until Friday, until we have it in our hands and are able to look at it and other people look at it, yep. then we can figure out a process. That's my exactly. opinion. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. His, rev his revisions may be great and we can go from there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, anything else? Not for me. Okay. Anybody else, Chris? Sue? Kathy, you um Kathy, you done? Yeah, that was the only question I had was Okay. Yep. All right. So then the second thing is on the wastewater. Um, thank you, Michael. He did a great review of the draft RFP, um, made really good suggestions. Um, I'm just going, uh, Mike, I'm just going to um, incorporate those suggestions and quit, send the document back just to you, just so that you know that I got them all correct, if that's okay. Yep, yep. sounds good. Okay, good. Um, and then the other thing that um, I would like to do, and I had already talked to Paul Pazinski about this, um, is getting, and I, um, how many people know Mike Sullivan, uh, Cornerstone Engineering? I do. 
Okay, so Mike's been around. Uh, he's done just about every um, septic tank here in town. Um, this project is bigger than his firm. However, he's got a good, you know, uh, background in that from his engineering firm. Um, and he had, um, I asked him, would you help me with it? And he said he would. And so he's going to do a review of it from his engineering firm standpoint. Um, and because he can't, he can't, um, it, it's too big of a project. And then there are um, a couple firms that were referred to me. We've got four firms identified that we could send it to, and I'm sure there'll be um, a couple more. So that that should get out um, between, uh, you know, between now and the next couple weeks. Um, now, just so that you know, a lot of this stuff, I've also got um, Karen Galligan's help enlisted with it. Um, Somebody needs to look at it from the standpoint of um, incorporating the problems that they have, not just with what we're proposing to do with the wastewater in downtown, but also proposing um, to take a look at the drainage at the same time. And I don't know, you know, the drainage issue has come up every single time. I don't know. I have to talk to Karen. I did mean to do it this week and um, th that slipped, but... Um, her work with VHB, who is the engineering firm that did the design for, um, you know, the Main Street project, and then also for, um, supposedly for the downtown, I think that it needs to be looked at, because Paul agrees, you can't just look at it without incorporating um, the wastewater and the drainage problem together. Um, so whether it would be that maybe VHB could take a look at it, um, I don't know. But that project's been delayed a year, the downtown project. Wow. Is that still delayed because of the um, railroad crossing issue or are there that's, now other issues? Yeah, that's one of the issues. Um, the that other makes it thing sound like is, there's others. What's that happening? I said that makes it sound like there's also others now in, in, um, instead of just. Kathy, I think that it is adequate. It's a fair thing to say that um, the selectmen need to get um, an update from DPW in terms of exactly where this downtown project is as far as the approvals Good. and what still needs to get done. Are we as an EDC communicating that to them? Um, I think that, uh, I mean, we haven't, oh, to the selectmen? Yeah. Um, because communication goes both ways. We expect them to help us when when people get angry at the EDC, but well, I we think need that to also um, the let them know when they've got problems on their plate. Yeah. Um, as you know, uh, in any of the meetings that have been held, this issue of drainage has come up a whole bunch of times. And there's been a mixed um, response on the drainage. So I guess the best way, um, I have to actually provide another quarterly report to the EEA people by the end of June. So I think um, what I will do is, um, I think that's a very good suggestion. And I will uh, formalize a, um, a memo to Karen and copy the board of selectmen on it in terms of what I feel. And I'll get Paul Pazinski to um, help out with it in terms of what I feel needs to get formalized as we move forward um, with this project. And the, stat the status of the downtown project is really important. And one of the reasons is, is because there's a, um, depending on what's going to happen, you want to have them put in a, a, a sleeve or whatever else, and right. whatever it's called, underneath the downtown part so that if we um, did um, a, some type of a system on one side of Main Street, 
and it uh, took output from the other side that they're not digging up the road again, which to my understanding cannot be done Correct. for a couple of years. What I think we should do is get on the selectmen's agenda uh, for right after town meeting and slash they're finished with the budget slash election because that's all right in relatively the same week and uh, give them an update on what's going on with this uh, as well as okay. I think we should try to get on there to try to restructure and change the way the EDC is set up right now sooner than later. And if they can drop us down to a seven member board, that way we can have a quorum with four because right now having a quorum of five with six members is going to be rough. So we either need to try to get, so I think getting on their agenda right after this and giving them an update on everything is yeah. imperative. Okay. That's, an ex that's an excellent suggestion, John. Yeah, I, 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 so I'll, I'll get that taken care of after this. That's on my, my action list. But uh, I think they'll want to hear about the wastewater as well as we, you know, as soon as we get the report, I'm assuming we're going to send that to the select board as well as all the chairs yep. of the yeah, Well, the other thing, too, yeah, the other thing too is um, the, uh, any of those documents have to go to Mark Purple first. Yeah, so perfect. So, okay. What other what other questions do you have, guys? Until I see it, that's it for me. Okay. Anybody else? I feel, feel the same way. Yeah. All right. Uh, let me see. My I, I took a picture of the agenda, so that way I know where I am on it. Hang on. Yeah. All right. So. We voted on the on the EDC Facebook page. We got the update from Clear on Zoning and Wastewater. We still have COVID-19 and then um, public comment I want to get before Sue has to, has to bounce. Okay, I'll give you the update on um, what I've been doing me, for business. Me, I, have to, I have to just Sorry. step out for a minute and I'll be right back. Uh, we'll lose quorum this way. We lose quorum, Chris. Sorry, can you hold on five minutes, Tops? <laughs> sure. Sorry, it's just, let's see, that's why I said we got to see the select. Not so a problem. I... <laughs> that was quick. Thank you, Chris. You're going to have to hold it. <laughs> you owe me. I do, I do. Um, so I had uh, put, out the, I put out the survey to businesses and um, put a link on the website. I haven't heard much back. Uh, I mean, so far, I think I have six responses. Uh, so not that much. Um, I've been uh, updating the Facebook page, um, but I think the issue is getting more people uh, aware of it. Um, so, you know, maybe you can visit and uh, send it to your friends or other residents that you know. Um, I've, um, I guess we've entered, uh, the, the state has entered a phase of uh, reopening. Uh, so there was a lot of information uh, for businesses with lists of which industries are allowed, when to open, how to open. There are a lot of uh, restrictions or at least um, things they have to do in order to reopen. So I posted all that information, including all the, ring, the, the links uh, on the town website. Um, and what else? Um, my only, you know, now that we're slowly moving into a new phase. Uh, I've been reading a lot. Um, MAPC has, has come out with a really good uh, report on uh, how municipalities or how governments can help uh, small business or any business really uh, to, to navigate the whole new, you know, the new reality. Um, I I'm, I'm working on a document to see how Southboro can do the same. Uh, um, the only thing is, you know, a lot of it is about flexibility in permitting, um, extending certain payments, allowing restaurants to kind of spill out on the, on the pavement to you know, have outdoor uh, seating or, or outdoor um, service. So I think uh, I'm just gonna put down some ideas. I'll share it with, with the EDC. Uh, in the meantime, maybe you can also think of ways of how we could uh, help our businesses and kind of reach out. Maybe we could print out all these signs that they have to put up. Um, you know, provide that. I mean, use a local printer and and try to um, you know pass that on to to businesses that are allowed to open. I mean, there's just some small, uh, simple ideas, but I think uh, it would be helpful to show at least that we are thinking with them and we're trying to assist them at this at this point. Excellent. Um, idea. 
at the same time i've um I'm a South. I'm applying for a grant. Uh, the Department of uh, Housing and Community Development has come out with a block grant. Um, so um, I was I received the information, and there's a I guess a joint application uh, happening with 21 other communities. Um, so I said Southboro would join in, and this is for uh, micro enterprise assistance. So it's for really small companies of five employees or less. Um, there are a lot of kind of uh, restrictions of who is allowed to apply, but I think uh, we should uh, go for it and try it. And if we can get some money uh, to help our small businesses, um, uh, you know, that would be awesome. That's awesome. Um, so yeah. keeping our fingers crossed uh, that that's going to work out and uh, give us something. And I think that's that's about it. Those are the main things. Yeah, I, I think what's, that is so important, what you're talking about, Marguerite, because most people do not understand that the economy is driven by small businesses. Uh, and regretfully, there are people who think of business that they, they see them as invisible. And the more we educate the community about how many we have, how many people they employ, and what we can do, like put out sandwich boards to get people to come and support their business, it's critical because if they're not here, it means they are not gonna be able to pay taxes They'll disappear. We won't have the amenity. We'll lose the amenities that we're trying to preserve. So this is this is a critical component of what we're doing here. And Facebook is certainly a great channel to communicate what we have as great assets. Excellent. So I know, Susan, you got a bolt in a second. Real quick, I just want to ask if there's any uh, public comment. Mimi, I see you're on there. Do you have anything you want to say? Uh, and I think the other one is, is Michael is the only other attendee. I think Sam was here or Sam left. Oh, Sam's yeah. gone. Yep. The only, Sam I have, uh, out. Has anybody raised their hand to, for public comment or anything? No? I, okay. I have a question concerning the micro enterprise. Yeah. Is that written? It, it, are the facts about what you can do with it? Is it grants to to the micro enterprise businesses? Is it information yeah. sharing? No, it's a grant. It's a grant up to, it's up to a maximum of $10,000 uh, per micro enterprise. Um, and, uh, you know, I mean, they, they, sh they can, they can pay for instance, wages or uh, it, it provides them help with rent payments and stuff like that. So it's That's just huge on a lot of these small businesses. I got a question for anybody that might know. I saw the English uh, flower garden is no longer in that building. Did they leave? Are they closed? I just saw them carrying stuff out the other day. And uh, I'd like to follow up with that because I love that place. I used to buy these little votive flowers there. So I want to find out about that. But yeah, I'll, I'll go and see them. I, I didn't know anything about that. Real quick, because I know Susan needs to go. Uh, Suzanne, sorry. Um, so, um, I had uh, somebody from another committee ask me about a, a bill that we owe for a report um, from COG. I don't know if we've never seen the bill, never seen the uh, Yeah, the that's, report. that's old. That's very old news. But I still, they're asking, I'm hearing it as of yesterday again from different uh, uh, chairs and selectmen stuff. So I would like to see the invoice as well as the report so we can talk about it at the next meeting on whether we should. Okay. Cause I, I had brought it up cause you had brought it up a couple of yeah, months ago been, and I had, uh, I, I guess, thought it was taken care of and it wasn't. Yeah, so I I've spoke to Karina uh, about it and she said, no, there's nothing outstanding. And I actually um, responded. I contacted Cog, so you I, mean, did. I don't know who's who keeps bringing that up or who. I will follow up that with that with the. the yeah, with it might the be a planning committee. board bill. Planning board was contracted. Well, she just checked it. She just checked with Karina. So if Karina said they have oh, nothing yeah, outstanding, Karina said there was nothing. And it wasn't through Claire. It wasn't through our consultant. The bill came through. No, I, I will. Uh, I will check it out. Some. I mean, now. If it is, can you send me the uh, copy of the yeah. invoice as well as the the. Uh, the uh, scope that you guys sent out for the report, as well as the report, just so we can sure. we can talk yep. about it and vote on it actually in a committee, and then put it to bed and done once we have it on an official. Well, report. I thought it was already put to bed. So I, I did too I, I until last who, night. 
Yes, I would like to know who reached out to who. Shopsy, because we had contracted COG. It was the chair of Shopsy. Yeah, but who who from uh, COG reached out to whom regarding this? I don't know who reached out to Dorian. I can find that out. Yeah, if you could, because I've been trying to um, reach, I mean, I've been trying to contact COG about this, so. Okay, um, yeah, I just, if, if it's out there, I just want it, I just want it taken care of. If it's not great, you know, I just want to make sure that everybody knows it's not out there. That's Yeah, I mean, favorite. I just want you to tell them that, that we are dealing with it and we've dealt with it. So I don't know if someone from COG is, is, is um, talking to them about something the EDC would have contracted them for. They should just refer that person to me or, uh, or to you. To, we'll do you know, instead of contacting someone from Shopsy. Again, I just heard it from the Shopsy chair last night and the other yeah. people that I told you from before, she said that they asked them again and uh, I just wanted to bring it up. So that way, it's yeah, no, up. that's and good. And if there is out there, I want it brought before the whole committee to look at, because if there is a report, the committee should see it. And if there isn't a report, yes. then there we is won't. No if report. there is an invoice that we need to vote on, yeah. to pay, we either say yay yeah, or nay. You know no, I mean? there, there isn't any, that's, but I'm, that's why I want to know who from COG is reaching out because that person should reach out to me and then we can discuss if- I will take anything. care of that as soon as we have a motion to adjourn. All right. I have one more question on status. What's the status of the new- um, Trying. Book, no, the new book on booklet that we're putting out on the businesses in town, following up on Chris's point that we should be helping them now. Do we have the- the shop local um, book ready to come out soon? Uh, no, we've not been working on a, a second version. I think, um, you know, the current one is still, um, I don't need, I don't know if you want to print another one, an updated one, uh, but we've been- uh, I thought we were. I mean, the last, we've only printed one and we put a lot yeah, of time in getting a second one. We did the second one. I never get a copy. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Any okay. any other business? Do I have a motion to adjourn? Anybody? Okay. I'll, I'll make the motion. A motion by Susan Duca and seconded by Second. Kathy. Kathy. All right, roll call vote. Uh, Chris? Chris Roberts? Yes. yes. Michael Moorhead? Yes. Susan Duca? Yep. Kathleen Bartolini? Yes. John Wood? Yes. Uh, we are. Marika, I'll, yeah. I'll call you in a moment. Sure. All right. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, Thanks, Kathleen. Hey, great job, everybody. Thank Kathy, thank you. thank you for being on the committee. You're going to be missed. And I owe you a beer, wine, whatever you want, or even a cupcake because I like cupcakes. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> God bless. Take thank care, you. everybody. All right. Bye-bye.